Welcome back to part two. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. What's going on, everyone? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sarah. This is my dog, Toby, and we're in the middle of building out our little home on wheels. If you're interested in seeing how it all turns out, make sure you stick around because we show you exactly how we get it done. But today, I'm gonna to be showing you the second half of that 12 hour day I had with Dylan when we installed the fan. And this time we're gonna be showing you how we installed the windows. Yeah, it was, it was quite the day, cutting three giant holes in my van, but you know what? Such a rewarding time and I'm happy we got the worst of the worst done. I think, I hope so. I think maybe the electrical will be the second worst or difficult task that I have to do, but that is gonna happen in the coming weeks. But anyway, with that said, I'm not gonna keep you any longer. Just continue on. Watch Dylan and I have a good time as we install the windows. Okay, bye. Here it is. I picked it up from Peninsula Glass, their motion windows. Actually, I don't know what the difference is. I don't know what the company is, but anyway. Here they are, they're bunker windows designed specifically for the Ram Pro Master. So let's do it like this and measure it from the outside inner lip. Not even a lip, just the inner part of the outside of the inner part. <laughs> He's clamping it right there. I didn't have a clamp. And I'm not sure if it was supposed to come with a clamp, but just to make sure it stays in place as we trace it. Also, thanks again, Dylan, for helping out. You're welcome. Rather practice on yours than mine. Okay. Come around. Oh. Can I kick it? You kind of hit it. Hold on. Let's see it. Looking good. <laughs> So it is getting pretty late, but we really, really, really desperately want to get it done today. So we're going to divide and conquer. Dylan's going to start cutting that template up. I'm going to clean the walls of the van where we're going to cut it so that it's easy. And then I'll get back to you. In my mouth is a desert Running dry On the tip of my tongue I can taste your lies How to measure The love you throw Just measured it up here to go down about two inches. About two inches. I do want a high bed so that I can have optimal garage space. So I want the windows to also be as high as possible. We're gonna go ahead and trace around the template here and then poke our pilot holes, take the template on the outside, tape it to where we had our pilot holes, trace it again, and then start the cutting. <laughs> okay. Is this good? Right here? How's it look? What do you think? Tell me your thoughts. How's the placement? <laughs> it looks great. <laughs> As much as I have very much enjoyed doing this all by myself and having the glory of being like, I did that, it's so much easier having someone help you. So if you are adamant about also doing this all by yourself, do it. But I promise you it's so much easier to have a helping hand. And I promise you also that once your friends find out that you're doing it, they're gonna wanna help, so take it. Take the offers. Take it. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing the windows this late. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh. This is just a person, it's just yeah, right, right. <laughs> All right, let's take it to the outside. We traced the template on the outside. Now we're gonna do our, or make our pilot holes a little bit bigger and breathe a little bit. Sarah's having a panic attack because this is a stressful moment. It's a very expensive vehicle, and if I screw this up, I total my van, so. You don't total your van, we'll just put a cardboard box on it. It'll look great. All 
right, let's get to it. Also, I do need to go lower. Oh, yeah. Um, should I just follow my the tape? Follow the tape. Man. You have to follow the tape. Should I start back? I should start over. Yeah, if you can, it's going to be really hard to know. Let's fit the window. If it! Thank God. <sighs> okay, so we got our hole fitted. I'm really happy about it. Everything fits perfectly. First try. I'm getting really good at this. So I can't wait to do the other one. Not sure if we'll get it done today though. But so Dylan is gonna start filing down the excess little metal bits and then doing the rust protectant. Don't need to show you that because you already saw it when we did the fan. I'm gonna prepare the window itself and I'll tell you exactly what I do once I figure it out. Gotta read the instructions that um, that motion windows provided online. So, uno momento, por favor. All right, so my windows came with this seal tape and according to the instructions, we're on step three. With the window lying face down on a soft surface, I'm on a hard surface right now, so I gotta change that up. Apply the seal tape on the flange. Flange? It's a flange or flange? Flange. Flange? Flange. 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 Uh, starting at the middle of the bottom of the window, overlapping the two ends by about a quarter of an inch. Okay, let's let's get let's do this. What did I say? We're starting from the bottom. Starting from the bottom. Apply the seal on the flange, starting at the middle of the bottom. It's flu. It's flunge. It's flunge. It's flunge. Not flange. Not flange. Not flange. It's flunge. I think it's the schmoonge. The schmoonge. <laughs> okay, so we're taking a pause on finishing up the other hole. It's getting dark, and we really, really desperately need to get both windows done today. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the other hole in the other window, and then while we have sunlight, one and two, while it's a little early, so no one gets mad about all the all the noise. So we're doing this a little unorthodox. I scrapped the template because I'm just not a template type of gal. And we're eyeballing this. And you tell me, does this look straight? I think it does. Straight enough. <laughs> All right, let's trace it. <gasps> you scared me more than anything so far today. <laughs> prepared to cut open our second window. Oh. Watch your elbows, huh? <laughs> I've been watching YouTube videos of people building out their vans for months, and I really thought I was gonna kind of copy how everyone else is doing it, because it obviously worked. And a lot of people are doing it the same way. However, I've been doing it so differently, and it still works. The when I try to do it other people's way, it just didn't work for me, so. With that said, do what's comfortable for you, do what makes sense for you, and I hope my way inspires you. Maybe my way works for you, maybe my way doesn't work for you, maybe Dylan's way works. What is my way? My way is your way. We so fought, we, we argued a couple times. And we're we? doing it your way, that's why it's sunset. <laughs> no, it's sunset because you're off goofing off of Toby. I'm not goofing. Okay, cue Dylan goofing off of Toby right now. <laughs> <laughs> Load me up, brother. Can't get to smile on my face. Don't really have a reason why, but I don't even have to try. This feeling is here to stay. Let's keep it going all night. Don't stop till we see sunlight. We've been drinking all the cheap wine. Okay, let's get it out of there. Get it out of there. Do you help? 
Get it. All right. We got two for three. Can we get three for three? Hey, that's so good. That's awesome. That's super sick. Okay, let's do this. Let's let's get her done. So it's officially super dark outside, and I'm getting cranky. I think Dylan knows that. I'm getting a little impatient, <laughs> but we're gonna start getting the windows in finally. Goodness gracious. I'm really not sure how much I'll be able to share because it's so dark out here, but Dylan is eating his damn macaroni. Dylan, come on! Uh. Okay, I very much apologize. I really wish I could show you how we're putting the windows in, but it's so dang dark out there. It's it's literally impossible, but we already got one window in and I'm gonna show you right now with this window before we get it in, how we prepare for it. Okay, so when we were trying to get the window in the first time, it was wildly confusing because I actually thought when you put this piece in from the inside, it goes in like this where the outer lip sticks out, but that is not the case, my friends. It goes in like this. Show them, Dylan. You need the, the hole in the wall. All right, so now this is real official because <laughs> I got the Home Depot apron on. I passed it along to him. Okay, so you have to drill through here, but you're not actually drilling through the body. You drill through here to get into this. It goes in like so. Ooh, look at that. And now you take it away. Okay, but the important part is, can you lift this off? Oh. It's super easy. Because you're drilling straight into this little channel. So the screws set super easily without needing to set a pilot. No pilot needed, friends. And it goes in like this, not like this. I thought it was supposed to go in like that and I got wildly confused. It goes in like this. While I have some light in the garage, I'll show you how I prepared these for installation because I tried to do it earlier, but it was so dang dark. All right, so according to the instructions, you this is the, um, the sealant. So you wrap around the lip of the actual window and start it from the bottom and make it make your way around town. Peel as you go. Also, another thing I want to point out while I'm here, you can't see me moving my mouth and talking, but I got super cranky towards the end of this and I applaud Dylan for keeping his chill hat on. Don't look. Cranky, Sarah, and many Let me tell y'all something. When you're dealing with someone that's cranky, the worst thing you can do is match that energy <laughs> and be cranky with them. To cure a cranky person is to give them good energy, okay? That's it, that's all you gotta do. Stop taking things so gosh darn personally and relax. Right, Dylan? Chill the heck out. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is do a little spritzy spritz with this water around the seal so it doesn't stick right away. And then what I didn't do before, which I'll do this time, is also spray around the, the hole so that that's also extra repellent of stickiness. Milwaukee, come on. <laughs> what? Nikita all the way. You know what died first? Milwaukee. You know what died second? The Milwaukee charged battery. You know it's been running all day? Oh. Can you uh, fix um, this? It fucked actually, up. Actually, I'm losing power. But we got a problem. <laughs> it literally <laughs> just died as I was talking. Jack and Schmack. Release. All right, so now that we're all done, I'm super stoked about the results of the van. I seriously couldn't be happier. I'm really grateful that Dylan was here to help me out. I'm just so happy that we got it done. Each and every single one of those holes, we got it done the very first time and it went by so dang smoothly. Um, anyway, I think the next thing I have to do now is the electrical, so. I'll see you next week. Meanwhile, Dylan and I are going to clean off the driveway from any shards or screws or whatever the heck so everyone can park again. Mwah. Bye.